Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. Without any further ado, let's get started. To go to your file, select new. Then we are going to use 4x4 four four inches. And over here, this is the code. And your resolution should be 300. And click on create. So this is our working background now. Please. If you are new here, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. And if you are old here, thanks and I appreciate your being here. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing now, I'm going to my resource, that is my test document. Then right click to copy. Then go to your color, select gradients. Then right click and paste or control plus V to paste. Now come over here, go to your test, and we are going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then open your color, right click or control plus V to paste. Then click on this one at the top here to increase the opacity to 100%. Now we are going to change the angle to 0%. So you can see the changes now. Then click OK to apply it. Then to the first, we are going to import this background here. Reduce the size. Something like this. Then we are going to rasterize it. I'm going to turn this one off for now. So let's start from the beginning. So I'm going to import this background. And I'm going to rotate it this way. Scale it out. And this I'm going to apply Gaussian blur. Select your blur. And I'm going to make it 9%. Then change the blending mode to multiply. Apply your layer mask. Select your gradient to over here. Then and apply it to blend it. Then go back to your resource file. Import this one. Rotate it. Then you bring it over here. Now you scale it. And we are going to apply Gaussian Blur. Then this one, we are going to make this one 15%. 15.3%. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool. And you blend it. So this is the outcome of it. Now we are going to change the blending mode to multiply. Okay. So now take this background up. You can now turn it on. Then I'm going to import this image. Reduce the size. This way. Like this so this one I'm going to apply it this way all right then come back here and I'm going to import this image keep it over here I will turn this one off reduce the size then drag it up this way. Then we are going to change the blending mode to linear dodge and reduce the opacity to 51%. Then apply your layer mask, 
select your gradient to or your brush any one then i'm going to blend it this way okay so having done that then we are going to open this one and change it to add light something like this and apply your layer mask then we are going to select our brush or the gradient tool and we are going to apply blending then this is what we are going to have there so this image now i'm going to increase the brightness something like this then go to the image then you right, right click and rasterize it go to filter select camera raw filter okay now we are going to play with this temperature and tint something like this just little by little all right so i will leave it this way so if you want to do more then you can apply on your own then i'll click ok to apply it now i'll come behind this image and i'm going to apply this light here then i'll take it up over here and this one i'm going to change the blending mode to overlay then and i'm going to import the second one then take it up here i'm going to change this one to screen okay so having done all this one now then the next one is the light should be above it i mean this one should be above it why those light should be behind them okay oh now after we have done with this one so we proceed then we are going to duplicate this light over here and we are going to take it above the image then you can now adjust the position you want it to be something like this it's okay all right then we are going to draw a rent angle line at the bottom here then i'm going to make use of this font color f triple f 600 something like this then this image apply your layer mask then i'm going to select the, my brush I'm going to clean this place off. All right. So now we are going to import the church logo. Reduce the size. Now you can bring in a guideline to support to support your test and other thing you are going to do something like this okay it's okay like this 
so i'm going to leave it over there then i'm going to create another line here now we use this color over here then use your arrow key then to move it closer and go to your test document i'm going to copy this over here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool from here or you press t on your keyboard that is the shortcut key then reduce the font size something like this now we are going to duplicate this one select your test to T that is letter T on your keyboard then make a copy of this ctrl plus C to copy then ctrl plus V to paste now we are going to reduce the font size something like this then increase the character spacing it's okay like this the ctrl plus a to select all apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect all right so then we are going to select the church logo and the test over here we are going to group the ctrl plus g to group the ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect now you can reduce the size right so then we are going to the test now then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to using the shortcut key t now we are going to change that font to 13 mirror so that is the font i'm using then we are going to change the font here to this or then you can make sure that you input the normal font triple f then 600 now we are going to copy our test again then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool now we are going to close this character space by 0% and we are going to change the font to this font here I'm going to leave the font in the test document then ctrl plus v to paste change the font color to white now we are going to increase the font size like this so we are going to draw a rent angle then change so i'm going to leave the color white then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select the text to ctrl plus v to paste and we are going to change the font here to Montserrat then make it semi bold and we are going to change the color to red then reduce the font size and place it over here
can hold your sheet key while you select the right angle and the test then apply vertical and horizontal alignment to centralize it so you get something like this so the next thing now then we are going back to copy our test Ctrl plus C to copy then select your test tool Ctrl plus P to paste click here to copy the column then increase the font size now we are going to make the fonts make it bold something like this then duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate you bring it down then change the font color of this one to white then we are going to draw a cycle then draw a cycle over here then change the color to red reduce it now we are going to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then select the test to using your keyboard shortcut that is t now we are going to make the font medium or regular so anyone then you reduce the font size place it over there and we, and we are going to change the font color to this color over here now select this test ctrl plus a to alight it and we are going to replace it by this so ctrl plus c to copy and ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the font size so now we are going to select our test hold your shift key while you select it then ctrl plus g to group or you click on this icon here to group it something like this okay then i'm going to select this rent angle here and the test then you scale it out here to balance it together right so having concluded on that one then the next one now we are going to copy our test to ctrl plus c to copy this one and select your test to using the keyboard shortcut now we are going to make use of this color over here select your right angle to then you draw a line here that is a right angle then change the color to red apply your layer mask and you blend it something like this now select your test to ctrl plus v to paste then change it from okay it's already semi bold so we are going to make use of medium now we are going to place the test in this right angle now we are going to reduce 
with the, the size of the orange angle and we are going to make a duplicate of it ctrl plus j or you drag it over here then position it around the end go to the first one and light it then make use of your arrow key then to drag it over here now copy your test select your test to highlight this one the control plus v to paste right so i'm going to reduce the size of this one then we are coming back to this one now and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and change the font color to white then increase the size ctrl plus c to copy the letter test to using the keyboard shortcuts ctrl plus v to plus v to paste then make it semi bold and we are going to change the font color to this color and reduce the size then we are going to draw a rectangle line and make use of this color here now we are going back to this then select it hold your shift key while you select it then use your arrow key then to move it this way Then use your arrow key then to move the rectangle angle line. Right. So the next we are going to do now then we are going back to our test and make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool change the font color to white ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to break this one increase the font size Do something like this all right now we are going back behind this then to bring our icon then reduce the size then go to your image adjustment hue and saturation and drag this one to apply white color then we are going to select it from here hold your shift key then and group it then go back to your resource file to import this icon and reduce the size then 
then go to your image adjustments then hue and saturation then drag it to apply white background color then go to your test document copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to reduce the font size all right so having done this one so the next we are going to do and we are going back to that image here and we are going to copy the name ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste change the font to black and we are going to position and reduce the font size then duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate ctrl plus c to copy Highlight it ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to make this one bold then this one we are going to make it semi bold something like this right then we are going to grade a rent angle we're going to create a rent angle here and the fonts we are going to use here are going to make use of this font now we are going to duplicate this one drag it over here to duplicate the color we are going to use white something like this then we are going to duplicate this one now select it while you drag it over here then we are going to interchange this color here then on this one i'm going to use a color somewhere from somehow this color and the top one here i'm going to select this color something like this okay so the next now and i'm going to select this one and i'm going to import this image reduce the size bring it over here then reduce the size now right click and create a clipping mask then select this one go back to your resource file drag this one reduce the size then right click and create a clipping mask right so this image you are going to brighten it then brighten it this way and the constructs this way so the next thing now we are going to input their name so copy this one Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, and the font color, change it to white, then 
Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Now, I light it. So, remember the shortcut key for test two is T. So don't forget that. So I'm using the shortcut key mostly. Instead of clicking here, so I pressed it to change the test to bring out the test two. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate. And this one, I'm going to drag it over here. Then this one, select it while you hold your shift key. Now I'm going to select the test tool and copy it. Ctrl plus C to copy. Now Ctrl plus V to paste. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. Ctrl plus C to copy. And Ctrl plus V to paste. Now what we are going to do now then we are coming over to our test here then we are going to import this bubble light here then position it around here then change it to screen and we are going to blow the background of that bubble to eight percent something like this okay and we are going to import the light this light flare reduce the size then position it around the end then change it to screen then we are going to duplicate this light here then you bring it down over here and rotate it vertical then we are going to reduce the size here something like this then duplicate it So the last one, then we are going to bring this light glow here. Then you position it around here. Now change it to screen, something like this. So this will also add effect, light effect over here. So guys, that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please kindly subscribe, share it. And uh, don't forget, if you are interested in any of my flyer, you can go to the link in the descriptions. You see my Fiverr account there. You can make your order on any design that you want on, on any flyer you want. So, and if you want to optimize your video, then there is a link up to body in the description. You can use it to optimize your channel. Thank you so much for following. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.